Hi everyone and welcome to this brand new video. Today we will be taking a look at Project Swiss Army. A quick demonstration and a review right after the intro. So guys, for this effect I'll need you to call out stop whenever you want to. Stop here, are you sure? Yeah? I'm gonna show it in the card you stopped me at. Go ahead, remember it. Doesn't matter if I see it, I have seen that trick before. The Jag of Spades gets returned into the sense of the pack, just like so. To make everything a little fairer, I'm gonna take the card case and lock everything up inside the card case so no one can go near the cards. Now, in a moment I'm gonna place these cards inside my pocket, I just need you to see how long I will need to find your card. So start looking at your, oh, um, the Jack of Spades. Ta -da! So guys, that was basically one of the many things you can do with the Swiss Army tag. Now it comes in this great packaging produced by Murphy's Magic. Inside you get a gimmicked stack of playing cards and of course the link to the instructions. Uh, and as always, let's talk about the instructions first. It is Murphy's Magic quality, meaning very good audio quality, very good video quality. Everything you need to know are explained very, very well in the instructions. So nothing to complain about the instructions at all. It is done very, very well. Inside here, as I've mentioned, you get your gimmick tag, which is made very, very well. So for what the gimmick is supposed to be, it is done very, very well. So let, it, let me put it that way. Um, I decided to perform the trick you saw in the performance because it was like uh, the closest effect uh, to the extractor gimmick, which a lot of you might be familiar with. Uh, I basically performed the exact same effect and you have seen that it probably looked way fairer than the extractor gimmick, which in my opinion is one of the greatest gimmicks for card magic. However, I believe in my performance, if you know how the extractor works, you might have thought to yourself, oh, this looks very clean, which it really is. However, even though everything that is claimed to work with this effect is really workable, I have to say this is not a deck of cards that you can use for most of your other effects, right? There are limits for this pack, basically, which are the tricks you get to learn and create with this deck. So you can't really do probably most of the other effects uh, that are in your repertoire. So you have to really um, switch your regular pack of cards for the Swiss Army deck to be able to perform those effects shown in the trailer or in my performance. So it is not a regular pack of playing cards that you can use for other things too. Okay, so keep that in mind, which is in my opinion a very important thing to note. I believe another thing to mention, which is in my opinion very important, is um, the fact that for example in my performance you can't really have this pack through pick any card, right? So it doesn't work that way. And by saying that you might think to yourself, okay, if that's not the case, there are multiple other ways of achieving the same effect. However, the difference is the card they pick can be signed, which is of course taking it to another level. So keep that in mind before you purchase it, uh, because this is like a fully gimmick deck, you can't really have the spectator touch any card or, which is even worse, you can't have them handle the deck themselves, you can't give it out for examination, right? And in some cases it might even be angle sensitive. So. Keep that in mind before purchasing this. If you want to use the Swiss Army deck just for the effects you saw in the trailer, then this is really perfect for you. This is very simple to perform. You get to learn everything again, as I've said at the beginning. In the instructions, very simple to master. You can come up with your own effects. The reset time is very, very quick. Great production quality regarding gimmicks. Other than that, I'd say if you really want to use this deck besides your other effects, there has to be a deck switch, right? You have to switch your regular deck for the Swiss Army deck. Because of that, I'd say that you should either perform this at the beginning or at the end. Uh, and 
in my opinion, there is a very simple way of switching it at the beginning. So if you start with the uh, Swiss Army deck with your effect, you can close with the effect that I have performed. And later on, when you come out with the deck from out of your pocket, you can come out with a regular deck of playing cards. So switch it really invisibly in front of the spectator. In my opinion, probably the easiest way of doing it. So then you can continue the rest of the effects with your regular pack of playing cards, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, Swiss Army deck is something that really opens you up quite some opportunities regarding very visual effects. However, there is this very big restriction regarding um, giving out the deck like to examine things and of course also uh, having like the spectator pick freely selected cards. But keeping all those things together, you have to decide yourself if this is really something for you. I personally, uh, just in case you're wondering, uh, I believe there is gonna be this um, discussion about Swiss Army deck or Extractor. I would go, personal, this is my uh, personal opinion, I'd go for the Extractor gimmick. In my opinion, I just like uh, the gimmick more because the extractor is really a very high quality gimmick. It's nothing like Project Swiss Army. This is something, something else. Let me say it that way. Other than that, I have nothing to add to this review. Project Swiss Army, you get a fully gimmick pack of playing cards. Some of you might like it, some of you not. It's really something you have to get used to. Other than that, uh, I have real nothing to complain about it. You can get it at any Murphy's Magic dealer, one of them being tesmatsaubatikel.de, the link in the description box below. But that was it, Project Swiss Army by Brandon David and Chris Turkey. Turkey. That's it, I'll see you next time.